Our journey with TAPS has been extraordinary. When we started, we were really worried about how the traditions of North Carolina were going to be sustained. Yes, I remember the, the meeting back in the 90s. A group of us uh, local traditional musicians were called together and by the uh, local arts council and um, met with the group of the North Carolina Arts Council and asked what, how could we uh, continue or pass our tradition on more easily to the younger people. And one thing that I said was that um, the traditional music needs to be passed on by local traditional artist. For the Arts Council itself, it helped us to understand that any time, any time you do economic development, utilizing a community's cultural traditions or its artists, you have to make sure there's an educational component that goes along with it. What we're doing is something that's actually priceless. It's something that comes from the heart it's a tradition that's passed down. At times, I guess we have 80 or 90 kids in the program. You find yourself looking at the little kids that's now 12 or 13 that's in the position that you was in when you started, and then when you see yourself teaching it, I mean, that just comes to mind if, you know, if you don't teach it, what you learn is going, or what you know is going to die out. You tie the same knot on top of the same one. Do it, like, do it like three times. You know, in our area, Hollister, North Carolina, there's not a lot of things for our children to do or look forward to. And with TAPS, we're able to influence those students. The uh, dropout rates have decreased among our students. They're more eager to learn not only about the cultural arts, but educational-wise and about who they are as a people. The coolest thing in the world is being able to express ourselves. Like, if you are a poet, being able to write your feelings down on a piece of paper. If you're a painter, being able to color your experiences on a canvas. As a musician, my whole goal is to be able to color my experiences musically. And that leads us into what we call improvisation. So I'm trying to draw for you what I'm feeling and what I see in my head. <laughs> Here you go. Which down? This one? This, it doesn't matter. Just, just ram them. Just slam her down there. Okay, make sure you get water on it. It's very, very beneficial, I think, to the students. I get a chance to talk to, to the young folks and tell them of their heritage. Be real still and then come off real easy so it's not wiggling. Or it doesn't have that spiral in it. I let off really easy. Oh, super good. It has been really a blessing to have my kids to go through this. Uh, three of them has went through the pottery classes and my kids were like overwhelmed and joy when they come home. They learned new things. They were excited about coming home, telling me about what they learned. We actually have Native American in us, so they actually got to learn a little bit about their heritage through taking this class. So that was like really awesome because I don't get to go home and spend much time with my family. So here they were able to learn about their heritage it was something that I had never been able to give them. When I first started in this program teaching here, I didn't know these boys, the Jones brothers. I'm on the way back to 
like I used to be a struggler in math, and ever since I started playing music, it's just made my mind think a whole lot better. Like it made me solve stuff a whole lot better. You gonna do that on the, the way I taught you, my, the way? Mm -hmm. The way I taught you? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I can. <laughs> if you can. About every week, he'll, he'll like give us a new song, something that he used to play with Bill Monroe or Jimmy Martin or some of the big boys he played with. And I said, Jonathan, before I, I hope before I leave this world that I teach you everything I know. And I'm about running out of sound, <laughs> but I taught him over 200. The purpose of our TAPS program is to also bring in the stories that give meaning to the music and give meaning to place. You did it. <laughs> it's beyond an art form. It's a tradition. There's a difference. Okay, listen first. I started with fiddle, moved to guitar, then mandolin, and then finally banjo. Just an amazing thing that I get to grow up learning this music and now I get to pass it on to little kids. What I do with what I learn is who I am. It don't matter who you are, you know, where you're from, what race you are, you can't not run your roots. TAPS has taught me how to be more proud in my culture and how that I can use my culture and all the different traditional arts projects that I use to express myself and to just really have fun and relieve like all the negative stress that happens in life and turn it into positive and creative objects. It not only helps the youth to learn our traditional arts, but the local musicians that that pitch in and help out to teach. Uh, it gives them a, a, a little revenue to sustain them and keep them. And the result uh, is a win-win for everyone. <laughs> you know, Cecil was the one who brought us all together and I give him a lot of credit and we love him so much. Just don't you rock em, daddy, or don't you rock em, daddy, or don't you rock em. I think if it weren't for the other kids who play this music, I probably still wouldn't be playing it. They're really motivating and loving and that's my life now. It's incredible to see how young people are embracing the traditions of their communities. The, 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 their, their elders are coming forward to teach them and um, I think the future is very bright. One, two, you know, we hope that we can keep going. It's a great program right now, but it, you know, ultimately we, we do have to have funding from the North Carolina Arts Council in, in order to keep this program going, you know, because we like to offer that to people uh, of any economic status. So, so we hope that we can keep doing this. I like that ending. I always do that. Yeah, well, I never had heard it. it sounds like you're starting over. I know. Yeah, I know. I, I thought you were at first. I was like, oh no, we're not stopping. I'm getting a new ending. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Thank you.